Hi friends! Today I'm going to show you how to dye silks. I'm going to show you two different ways. The first way is how I learned in my World of Teacher training and the second way is a cheat way. I'm going to show you the first way. Now, I'm going to be honest, this is an experiment because I haven't done this in about eight years. So we're doing this together. We'll see how it turns out. You will need a pan and some vinegar. As I'm just dyeing one silk, I'm just going to use half a cup of vinegar. And then you want, whoa, my goodness. You want to fill the pot with water. <laughs> okay, once your pan is filled with your vinegar and your water, you want to put the silk in the pot and you're just preparing the silk to be dyed. So you want to put this on boil and then you want to let it simmer for one hour. I'm just going to put it on the cooker. Doo -doo -doo. While your silk is on boil, let's prepare the other pot. I'm going to use turmeric. There are many things you can use. Um, onion skins is a good one, red cabbage, coffee, so many wonderful things. But today I'm just going to use turmeric. I've already peeled it and I'm even just gonna put the peels in there. And I'm just gonna put a chunk of turmeric in. And again, fill it up, this time without the water going everywhere. Okay, and the truth is I've actually never used turmeric before. I've used other things, so I really don't know how this is going to turn out. But you want to put your materials that you're dyeing with in the water, and we're going to put this on to boil, then simmer for about 20 minutes, and then we're just going to leave it in until the silk is ready. Off I go. Now I'm going to show you the cheat way. I like to buy these dyes, you can buy them at Michael's or you can buy them on Amazon. And you can actually, there's a website and it tells you, it, depending on what you're dyeing, it gives you different instructions. So for the silk, I also need vinegar. And this time I'm actually going to do two silks and I'm going to use a cup of vinegar. And the rest water. Now, I like this because you don't have to do too much preparation and boiling the silk beforehand. Ideally, it would be good if you were to wash them. I am just going to wet this in water. You want to put this on boil. When it's boiling, then we're gonna add the dye. So I'm just gonna put it on the oven stove. All right, friends, we've got our natural dye silk bubbling away nicely. Our water is boiling and it's ready for the liquid. And I'm going to guesstimate about that as I'm do using two. The more liquid you use, the stronger the color will be. Once I used an entire tub and it was too much and I felt like it was a waste and I ended up dyeing everything I had green. I have already rinsed my silk and oh yeah now I'm going to keep this on a simmer for the first 10 minutes. Get out. And we are going to put the silk in and we want a wooden spoon. Going to put my other one in. So I leave it on simmer for the first 10 minutes. The first 10 minutes are the most crucial minutes for the dyeing. So I've been told. There we 
Okay. After 10 minutes, I'm going to turn that off and I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for a couple of hours. Um, and I'll come back to that and I'll show you what I do. And before I turn the camera off, I'm just going to check on the turmeric before I turn the heat off. Now that does look like it's going into a quite a nice colour. Just in case, I'm just going to add a little bit of powder because I'm panicking this won't work. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. So I will check back in in a few hours. This has been boiling for an hour, so I'm going to take it over to the sink and I'm going to rinse it out. And now I just want to run it under cold water so it's cool enough for me to touch. And I just want to rinse out the vinegar. All right, and now I'm ready to submerge it into the turmeric. All right, now get a different wooden spoon. And this looks like a really nice color now. I'm quite excited. I'm feeling good. I think it's going to work. And then we're just going to... Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Yellow. I really hope this works. Now, I am just going to leave this silk in here for as long as possible. And another Waldorf teacher even told me that after this process, they put it in a jar and leave it in the jar in the sun for a few days. So I'll see what the color looks like in a couple of hours and I'll decide what to do. See you soon. <laughs> All right, let's see what, how they've turned out. The green looks very nice. And sometimes um, there'll be two different color greens. That's okay. All right, that looks good. Now let's see how the turmeric turned out. Now I did shake a little bit more turmeric in because I was worried about the color but I think it looks good. Now when you do rinse this, the color will disappear a lot and that is why I like to cheat and do this way. I think it's quicker and you're always guaranteed a color that will last. Sometimes when you use natural dye, it fades quicker and it's not as strong and there's just a lot more prep work, but it is a really nice way and it's great to do with children. And obviously there's no chemicals or anything in this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the silks in cold water. All right, friends, something that I just wanted to mention, um, I always use a stainless steel pan, and this is a pan that I don't use. This is just for dyeing silks. And then we just want to rinse them under cold water. You want to keep on rinsing until the water looks clear. So you see when I squeeze, there's still a greenish blue color coming off. You just want to keep on doing that until the water starts to run clear. All right, now I'm going to put these in the tumble dryer for about 30 minutes. And I am going to do this separate from the natural color one, just to keep the colors separate. Um, when you put them in the dryer, it just locks in the color. Now I'm going to put on rubber gloves for this one because your hands, first I'm going to dry my hands. Your hands get really 
died also, especially with the turmeric. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to rinse it, drain the water and rinse it under cold water. Now, like I said, the color will fade a lot, but I'm really happy with how that turned out. And because this is all natural, um, you can reuse this pan for cooking. And this is also a fun activity to do with the children or this is something nice for you to do because I know silks can be really expensive and it's cheaper if you just buy them in bulk and dye them yourself. And they make really nice gifts also. All right, so far so good. I'm really happy with this color so far. I'm going to wait for the green ones to finish in the tumble dryer and then I'm going to pop this in the tumble dryer. And I forgot to say, throw it in the tumble dryer with an old towel that you don't mind getting this color or a similar color. All right, I've taken them out the tumble dryer and I have to say, I am so impressed with the turmeric. This is a wonderful color. I've never used turmeric before and I will definitely be doing this again. I really think this has turned out really well. Now, I did add, I would say, two tablespoons of the powdered turmeric as well as the fresh turmeric, and I'm very happy. I thought it would fade a lot. Now, the green, now I usually use a bigger pot when I'm doing more than one, but I was making soup, so I used a smaller pot. So, as you can see, they're all different colors. I actually really like it when this happens. But if you're looking for just one bold color, um, because it was all crumpled up, I didn't do a good job of stirring it up. But like I said, I quite like this. I'm going to be using this for a story apron for the children. And this is going to be the grass. So I like this. So there you have it. That's how you make silks. Now, I hope this video makes sense to you. I know I did two things in the one video. So if you follow me on Instagram and you have any questions, please feel free to DM me and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Happy silk dyeing! <laughs>